Mark, it was obvious early on, not just whoever was guarding Westbrook, but the entire team, like they were antennas up and making sure he didn't get any good looks at the rim. Yeah. He's a really good player. And uh, he gets you know, a lot of usage, so you got to um, try to take something away from him. He's going to get um, a lot of looks, and a lot of different looks, so you want to keep mixing it up and making it hard on him. But, you know, he, uh, he's a really good player. Mark, defensively in this game, did you see any strides from your guys just kind of from prior games, just defensively things looking a little bit more like what you guys are aiming for? I thought we did a good job of, uh, you know, um, staying consistent and, and everybody being on the same page. Uh, that, that always helps. I mean, obviously, when you have a, a focal point um, that obvious, um, that helps us as a team because we all can concentrate on something like that. And uh, I thought we did a good job. Mark, how important was it to get things turned around before you make this California trip? It's always good to win. Winning takes care of a lot of things. It always does. Mark, talk about the lift that Zebo gave you guys early when he got out there and got into a rhythm. Hey, great. I mean, uh, you know, nobody, nobody um, deserved it more than Zach. I think, you know, we, we love seeing him play. We love him, you know, seeing him with a little... You know, pepping his step and 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 the eyebrow going and uh, you know I, I love it I love it I, it makes me just happy to see him like that and uh, and you know just it goes like I said beyond us winning or, or you know benefiting from him um, scoring points it just makes me happy to see him um, play well. Mm -hmm. you, you guys have had uh, surprising success without Mike this year. I mean I think you're eight and three in games that you guys didn't you know kick. For, for that in that situation is what 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 happens in those games? Is, is there a difference for, to you? I don't know. No, I, it might be a coincidence. I don't know. And, and your numbers in particular seem to be a little better in that regard too. Is it is it a, a thing where you uh, you and him are trying to figure out who's going to lead? Is it, is there a comfort level there? What, what do you do you see? No. Um, when uh, obviously when somebody's down and somebody that it's. If I came down and I was out, probably he would take a lot more shots because it's just the game would go that way and, uh, and, and his responsibility offensively would go higher. And, uh, and it, it just happened to them. You know, I'm not out and he's, he's out. Um, I don't think that, uh, it, you know, it's, it's anything like that. Early with how you were frustrating Westbrook, it seemed like. Oh, yeah. Um, for the most part, we knew he was going to come in guns blazing. So first thing we had to do was pay attention to the pick and roll and um, not let the other guys beat us. We knew what he was capable of doing, and we just kept our antennas on him and competed with the others. And, you know, the coach said the biggest thing today was just, you know, trying to win the 50-50 game. And I thought we did a great job in that, and I think that's what frustrated him. As the game went on, getting more and more frustrated as, as you guys were just stifling. It's the first time he hasn't had an assist in a game in three years. He had no assist? No assist. Wow, that's crazy. Um, but like I say, our backside was was ready to, you know, tag and, and get out to the shooters. Uh, you know, uh, we played the uh, the lob that he, he, he get pretty much every game. And we was we was just making him just pretty much shoot all the shots, and we knew he could make them, but we didn't get discouraged, and we just had enough energy to just you know control the glass and feed Mark, and then Zebo got it going, and then before you know it, it Troy Daniels he was hot. What, uh, what what changes for you when you're playing point defensively? Does it change anything for you when you're out there in that role? No, nah, it's, it's it's pretty much you know a set offense. So um, all I gotta do is just basically get the ball up court, get it get it in my spot, you know, to where I can deliver the ball, and uh, pretty much cut after that, get back <laughs> and transition because you know I like playing the baseline a lot. So uh, nothing, nothing changes. Tough, uh, tough long trip to California coming up. How good is it to get these, this thing turned around before you head out there? Well, like I say, we just take one game at a time. Um, go out there, understand we're going into hostile environments. Uh, coach said a good thing about today was just focusing on us. Uh, and let's keep doing the little things that you know that could help us um, later on. And uh, if we keep that mentality, I think we'll be all right.